welcome. This is Aaron with Steel Picking. Uh, in this video lesson, we're going to take a basic 2-5-1 progression, which is real common to jazz, and we're going to add a diminished chord to that. And I wanted to take this opportunity to do some ear training and show you how I approach uh, diminished chords. So hopefully this will help you in that aspect. Uh, also showing you, th I think, three or four different ways to do that 2-5-1 progression. I uh, had some requests for doing some of this on the E9 tuning instead of the C6. So this will be uh, for one of my requests or a couple of requests I had for that. So there is a backing track and tab available for this. You can access that by clicking on the card or the link in the description. So let's look at this 251 with an added diminished chord and uh, hopefully this will help you. All right, so what I want to do in this lesson is we're going to take a uh, jazz standard progression, a 2-5-1, and I mean by that a 2 minor, a 5 altered, and a 1 major 7th, and we're going to add a diminished chord to that. So what the diminished chord is doing is like a passing tone getting back to the 1 chord, and I want to show you some different variations because uh, I know when I was coming up into playing, there was some confusion on the diminished. And uh, I'm not going to get into theory, but the way I call a diminished will be the root. And the way I normally play one uh, is I use uh, five, six, nine, and then I add the eighth string raised with F knee lever. So the ninth string, whatever note that is, that's what I'm going to call the root, or that's the chord I'm going to call. So if I did this open, That would be a D diminished. I would call that a D diminished. So I've showed you uh, there's four different variations of this two, five, one, then adding a diminished chord. So I'll play the first one and then I'll talk it out. So the first one went like this. Okay, so we're in the key of B flat. We're playing a C minor seventh, an F altered, and when I, if you've done any of my lessons before, you know the altered simply means it could be an F seventh, an F ninth, an F thirteenth. It's not just a, a flat out major uh, F chord. And then it goes to a uh, one major seventh. So we're in the key of B flat. It will end on a uh, B flat major seventh. Now, the only chords that are changing in that will be the diminished chords that I call out. So let's look at this one. You go to your 11th fret, and we're using a real simple group pattern. We're playing 5, 6, 8 with A pedal down. That's going to be playing over a C minor 7. Okay, the 5 uh, chord now, we're going to use a very, very basic F seventh chord. We're going to go up two frets, 13th fret, play five, six, nine. When you add that ninth string, that makes that a F seven. Okay, the next chord in the progression is a B flat major seventh. And I'm going to play a, uh, a chord substitution for that. We can go to our 11th fret, go five, six, eight with E flat knee lever, the lever that lowers eight, and play that. Now to work over a B flat major seventh. Okay, so now we have this. All right, so that's a real basic two, five, one progression out of B flat. Now the next chord, the passing chord, we're going to start doing our diminished chords. We go to the ninth fret, and the way we're going to do these is we're going to play five, six, nine, and then add our eighth string raised with the F knee lever while that's ringing. Okay, so that's the phrasing. All right, so the first one goes like this then.
All right, so there was four beats of each one of those chords. Now the next one I'll play, it, we're uh, trying to utilize our fretboard and trying to get you to learn your fretboard and your positions. We're gonna play another two, five, one, then add a diminished. This one's played like this. Okay, so we used a different diminish, but it still works within what we're trying to do. Uh, so the first diminish we played was a, a, a B diminish. Now we're taking that back one fret, we're playing a B flat diminished in this one. Still works, it's just a different voicing of the, of the diminished chord. Okay, so that one is played, 6th fret, 7, 6, 5, A and B pedals down, then add 4, that's going to be the 2 minor. Alright, the next chord then is an F altered chord, we can play that right here at our 6th at our fret, 5, 6, 8, B pedal, E, D flat, knee lever in, and then add 4. All right, the next chord then is the one major seventh. We can get a B flat major seventh at our eighth fret, playing five, six, nine, A and B pedals down, then add seven. All right, now we're gonna add the diminished passing chord to the progression. Same fret, eighth fret, same uh, fingering on that is five, six, nine, then add eight with the F knee lever engage. All right, now from the top we have this. All right, now the next one we did, we're going to another C minor. We can get that at our fourth fret, and I, I'll, I'll play it real quick. It goes like this. All right, so that one's fourth fret, five, six, eight, E, D flat, knee lever lowered, and then add four. Okay, now we're going to the five altered chord. We can get an F seventh right here. 10, eight, six, with E to F knee lever in, then add two. Okay, now we have a B flat major seventh. We can go to the sixth fret. Use that same group we used here, 10, eight, six, E, D, flat, knee lever in. Then we're gonna add four and five together as a group. Okay, then we're gonna play an A flat diminished. Same groupings here at the sixth fret, five, six, nine, then add eight with the F, knee lever engaged. All right, so now we've got this. All right, and the last one we're going to do, uh, we'll, be, we'll play like this. Okay, 
Okay, that one's played. The two minor seven is the same way we did a while ago. We're at the sixth fret with seven, six, five, A and B pedals down, then add four. Okay, then we're gonna play an altered F chord here at the uh, seventh fret. Five, six, nine, A pedal down, then add seven. Okay, then we're gonna get a B flat major, or one major seventh, eighth fret, five, six, nine, A and B pedals down, add seven. All right, then we're gonna do uh, the diminished here at the eighth fret, and that is five, six, nine, then add eight with the F knee lever in. That's a B flat diminished. Okay, and then it simply ends on the B flat major seven. Okay, so on the top it sounds like this. Okay, so what, we, what we're trying to learn here is I've showed you several different ways to do a 2-5-1 chord uh, positions on your fretboard, but also showing how you can add a diminished chord in that same standard jazz progression and gets you back to the one major. And it's really a nice uh, transition chord back to that. Now, you know that... that the diminished, you know, if you, if you start doing theory, those diminished have four notes. Those notes repeat every four frets. So the way you want to think of this is that we're playing the most common, to me, the most common grip was five, six, nine, and eight with that eighth string raised with the F knee lever. That's going to be the most common way to make a, a diminished. Now, just remember that the in my teaching, I use the ninth string as the root. So whatever that note is, so that would be a B diminished. That would be a B flat diminished. That would be an A flat diminished. So the ninth string will denote the uh, the what you're going to call the chord. That's the way I teach it. That's the way I, I learn it, and it, it it works out real well that way. So uh, I had some requests for two five one on the E ninth. So hopefully that'll cover a little bit of that too to help you out there on for our E ninth players, because I did a couple of lessons on the C six doing a two five one progression. So we just took that basic jazz progression and then added another chord, a diminished chord to it to make it a little, to me it, it just adds a little bit of uh, variety to that common progression. So I hope you enjoyed this and hope it helps you.
right, as always, Jacob and I just want to thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. And if you want to hit the like or the subscribe button, we'd appreciate that. If you want to check out any of the equipment that we're using, you can go to the Amazon link in the description and that'll get you some more information there. Also, uh, like I said at the outset, there is a tab and backing track available for this lesson. Uh, you can access that by clicking on the card or the link in the description. And you can help us out monetarily on our Patreon site there. And we'd appreciate that. So as always, uh, we just want to thank you for tuning in. Hope we're helping you, giving you some insight on this great instrument. And uh, as always, just keep picking.